Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be doing a review on this uh, M.2 NVMe heatsink. This is a JE Cold Series M.2 SSD heatsink, as you can see right here. So, uh, let's take it out of the box. See what it comes with. This is a heat sink for the M.2. Two pieces. Comes with M.2 screwdriver and four screws so you can fasten it to the M.2 SSD heat sink. And it comes with this, and it comes with two thermal pads. I think this is the instruction manual or something. It's a Mandarin. If you can't read Mandarin, then it's useless to you. So I don't think it says very much in here in in relation to showing you how to install it or anything. Installing it is pretty self-explanatory. It's not very hard or anything. Um, let me put it together. So I have an M.2 NVMe here. This is a uh, Western Digital. Um, I think it's a. Check what it is. I got a lot of these. I don't remember what I have exactly. This is a SN550. I also have a SN500. I, I have a, a couple of these. Uh, I use. A, a, I bought a lot of. I bought these because they were very inexpensive compared to let's say a Samsung or something so I always try to get the least expensive and good quality uh, M.2 NVMe or SSDs or whatever or hard drives I don't always try to buy the most expensive stuff I just try to get the stuff that is has good value most most of the time So this is a heat sink for it. I mean, uh, not the heat sink. I'm sorry, not a heat sink. This is a thermal pad. I think we have to put the thermal pad on here first before I put the heat sink together. There's some. There's a plastic film that you have to remove before you do this. I think that's a little bit too wide for that. These things are not always very easy to take out. There it goes, removing the film from it. Hard to do on camera, let me. It's a lot easier to do off camera than on camera. It's a little bit too long, I think, because you can't cover the end of it. So I think I do have to cut it a little bit. Let me cut it. Let me get a knife and cut that out. That is just too long. I 
pocket knife is always a useful tool to have around. And this is a 20... A 2280 M.2 and VME SSD still a little bit too long I think so I have to get the M.2 and VME screw so let's cut it a little bit more make sure you don't cut the M.2 and VME be very careful, in other words. Okay, that's much, much better. The bottom part, I don't think it really matters. I don't know if there's anything here. Let me, let me see. I can't really see very well. Dark. pretty useless okay I'll just put it like this Okay, that looks good. So, I think it goes in like this now. Gotta align the SSD to the bottom. Like so. So the screw thing basically isn't obstructed like that, so we can get this M.2 screw in basically. I think it goes in this way. As you can see it aligns like that. It goes in just one way. Make sure you put it in correctly so you can see that. push it in so it goes in so it contacts the thermal pad like that okay so now let's get it in good good of them to add M.2 screws And an M.2 screwdriver as well, which is also good. It comes with this many screws. Six actually, six M.2 screws. I only need, I only really need uh, four basically to finish this. But that's okay. Do you want to give me more? That's good. I'll just add it into my stockpile. I'll have more.
just put the screw in like that whoops darn it Don't over tighten it, just put it on there just tight enough. Firmly, but not you don't have to over tighten it, just just until it's firm. Okay, just want to make sure that's all on there. Okay, look, that's that looks good. It's on there pretty good. Now I can stick this back into my computer. I wanted to use the other one. I want to use it to sir um, M dot two M B me. However, I can't do that on my motherboard because uh, uh, my graphics card is right next to my M.2 NVMe slot and the graphics card is here so it, that two sir fan is just too high so I can't put that in I would like to use that but I can't because because of the height of the M.2 NVMe heatsink so that's what you have to consider sometimes when you use the M.2 NVMe heatsink is it too high you know if it's too high then it's not gonna fit and for me it's not gonna the other one didn't fit so I just use this using a heatsink is definitely better than not using any heatsink at all so this is I'll put this into my computer I did record uh, the temperature before I installed this M.2 NVMe heat sink and I will show you that after I turn on my computer and install this in this part the idle temperature of H drive that's the M.2 NVMe that I'm testing is 40 degrees Celsius on idle for C drive that's another M.2 NVMe that I have that's 42 degrees C and for I drive that is for the TUSER uh, M.2 NVMe with a fan, and I'll be testing all three and getting the results from that. In this part, the idle temperature of H drive, that's the M.2 NVMe that I'm testing, is 40 degrees Celsius on idle. For C drive, that's another M.2 NVMe that I have. That's 42 degrees C. And for I drive, that is for the TUSER uh, M.2 NVMe with a fan. And I'll be testing all three and getting the results from that. Now I'll be testing um, the M.2 NVMe's. The first one is H drive. That's the one with the Jet Yi um, M.2 NVMe heatsink. And we'll see what the temperature is after I run this test. Okay, so I got about 43 degrees Celsius after I ran the test, after I used the M.2 NVMe SSD. The next one, I'll be testing C drive. And this is with another M.2 NVMe that I bought on Amazon. It's similar to the Jet E, but as you can see, the temperature is... a was a little bit higher C 
C drive is 44 degrees C. And now I'll be testing the TUSER M.2 NVMe heatsink fan. That would be I drive. Okay, let's see what the temperature is. I drive is 39 degrees Celsius. So the Tuser uh, heatsink fan definitely was better. Okay, so my conclusion on the Jet Yi Cooler 2 M.2 NVMe heatsink fan. And what I th think of it. So, um... I think it's a good value for the money. It wasn't very expensive or anything like that. And it does its job of keeping your M.2 NVMe cool with a passive heatsink. However, using a um, M.2 NVMe heatsink with a fan was much better, as you saw on the tests. For the idle temperatures, um, I was getting about 42 degrees Celsius with the, the with this one, the Quiv. I'll call it the Quiv, Quivy. And with the Jet E Cooler 2, I was getting about 40 degrees Celsius on idle. But when I ran the test, I got about 42 degrees Celsius with the Jet E. With the Quivy, I got about 30. I'm 43 degrees Celsius with that and for this one on uh, after I ran the test I, I got about 40 degrees Celsius with the heatsink fan and this one definitely kept it cooler and I know this works very well I've tested it on a number of computers and regardless of what applications I run on it even if they are very intensive applications, this heatsink fan always keeps it cool. However, I couldn't use this because this is a little bit too high. So when I put this in my second M.2 NVMe slot, it wouldn't fit. So I just had to settle for this. And I'm, I'm satisfied with this because Without the heatsink fan, it would be definitely be a lot hotter, especially after I use the M.2 NVMe. That's when the temperature starts going up a lot. And having it is better than not having it, even though it is less effective than the one with the heatsink fan. So that's my take on it. If you're interested in getting one of these, I'll leave a link for you in the video descriptions below so you can get your own. And um, if you have any thoughts or questions, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.